Welcome to the channel, I'm Sam the Ash. Are you thinking about playing Terraria? Are you looking for some reasons to get back into it? Are you trying to talk yourself out of it? No matter your reason, I'll tell you why and if Terraria is worth it in 2023 going into 2024. I know your time is valuable, so let's get right into it. Terraria is listed as a 2D exploration sandbox survival game. I would add Metroidvania action adventure open world RPG to the list. It has 10 out of 10 stars with its rating being the highest at overwhelmingly positive on Steam with over 960,000 user reviews, which is kind of insane. So with all that hype, it has to have something special, right? It does. So obviously this opinion will vary, but I believe the downsides or weak points of Terraria are that it has so much content it can be a bit overwhelming at times. Some things are complicated, so you'll probably have to look something up eventually. And lastly, it's 2D. Currently, I don't believe this is a weakness, but I will admit for a long time it was the main thing putting me off of trying Terraria. Its simple pixel graphics and its 2D layout were too simple and outdated. Now that I've tried the game and put over 200 hours into it, I know now that this is just another strength of Terraria. One of the main points in Terraria is building and creating. The game has over 700 items and furniture alone, if that gives you an idea of how creative you can get. I'm not going to compare it to any other games because I feel like that just divides people who might be on the fence. So I'll just say a potential for a creativity in Terraria is truly something special. Another key feature is exploring. I believe for a game to have good exploration, it at least needs to have good environments. You don't want to be bored exploring. And second, it needs to reward its players for exploring. This is something that Terraria does extremely well. The more you explore, the more dangers you'll find, but also the more treasures you can come across. They balance risk and reward incredibly well, which encourages the player to explore and despite its 2D layout, the graphics have a lot of charm and are quite beautiful a lot of the time. Another big aspect of Terraria is its combat. You start with nothing and you can play for hours and just build, or you can explore for the chance of some legendary gear. The game has several classes that you can build into, melee, ranged, mage, and summoner being the main four, I think. The game has nothing in common with Dark Souls really, except for the fact that you go up against some really strong opponents while you're weak, and then you get stronger and smarter, and when you finally overcome the opponent, it feels like a big accomplishment, which is an excellent aspect for a game to have, and it's really tricky to pull off. There's a large number of unique bosses in the game for you to take on, each with its own special rewards and mechanics, and really, it's up to you on how you take it down. Do you rush into the fight, or do you prepare a handcrafted arena to give yourself the advantage? It is totally up to you. There's also countless different world seeds for you to play, offering an almost limitless replayability. You can customize how easy or hard your experience is with better rewards for the higher difficulties, so there's incentive to push yourself. So, with all that said, I can confidently say 12 years after its release, Terraria is absolutely worth playing to this day, with literal millions of people to back this up. Ignore your brain telling you that it's too old or outdated because it's still getting updated and you'll get over the simple graphics really quickly. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and you take my advice to try Terraria for yourself. I rarely put so much praise to a game, but Terraria has definitely earned it. If you enjoyed the video, liking and commenting truly does help me out a ton, every single one of you. And if you want to see more from me, subscribing to the channel is the perfect way to do that. I post once a week, so I will never clog up your feet. I appreciate you and have a good one. Peace out.